as the cultural heritage of the South Asian region faces increasing threat from urbanization, globalization and a population boom. It was only appropriate that the third meeting of the SARC Ministers of Culture was held in New Delhi from 24th to 25th September 2014. At a banquet held on 23rd September to welcome the distinguished delegates, Sri Ravindra Singh, Secretary Culture, Government of India, read out a note of promise. Our countries are bound by centuries of history and people to people relations. The deep bonds between the people of the region are manifest in a number of common areas witnessed in the fields of music, dance, literature, food, modern art, and oral narratives. India seeks to strengthen the cultural bonds through this meeting of SAAC culture ministers. I am delighted to welcome each and every one of you on this occasion. The secretary's speech was followed by a scintillating Bharatnatyam recital by dancers from Kalakshetra. Preceding the SAAC Culture Minister's meeting, senior officials from the Culture Ministries from the eight member states met on 24th September with a focused agenda. As per SAAC practice, Sri Ravindra Singh, leader of the delegation of the host country, was appointed chairperson of the meeting. Closer cultural ties assume great significance since they can prove very valuable in understanding contemporary trends within our societies and equip us better to deal with the challenges therein. The responsibility that has been given to us is therefore twofold. The formulation of a Delhi Declaration by the SARC Ministers of Culture and secondly, revising the SARC Agenda for Culture. Soon the proceedings began in full earnest. The director, SAAC Cultural Centre, presented a summary of activities undertaken, which included artists' camps, workshops, symposiums, literary meets, film festivals, photo exhibitions and research projects. With all this, I think it is, uh, I have mentioned that we have been able to create a very good image for the SAAC Cultural Centre in the region. Thank you. Thank you very much. This was followed by diverse responses and suggestions which contributed to the review and update of the SARC Agenda for Culture. While we take note of the past activities, we also need to suggest or uh, propose new activities or future recommendations for future activities. So that I think should go to the minister who they will adapt in their meeting. Just a suggestion to the ministers that we need to look into the the UNESCO Convention that we have listed here to ensure that wherever possible that we ratify or we ratify within reservation in certain countries. I would uh, like to consider establishing an e-library, e e-library, sir, e-library in Dhaka. I am very delighted to record that the historic city of Bamiyan in Afghanistan has been chosen as the first Sark cultural capital for the year 2015. In, in, in Bamiyan we will have eight or ten different kind of cultural activities like festivals, exhibitions uh, uh, and uh, seminars in Bamiyan. Uh, I'd like to ask the South Cultural Center if it's necessary to have the approval of the South uh, 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 Ministers or not. What we are going to resolve that we will put forward it to... That we will promote cultural links, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, these uh, conventions of maritime routes and cultural landscapes mm -hmm. in the Saak region and the monsoon, the effect it had on that. We have a formulation. The formulation proposed is to recognize the impact and contribution of maritime routes and monsoon on centuries of trade, migration, colonialism and modern, and modern statecraft through enhanced interactions between the member countries by redefining 
cultural linkages and transnational nominations. I think for the landlocked countries, we may not necessarily see it in the connection of maritime, but I, get, I see a possibility of cultural landscape and I think that is a possibility. So if you're looking at it, if we could be more generic and then eventually point it out between maritime and cultural landscape and then come towards uh, Project Mossam, which I think is a very good start to show us a way on how this can be done. The day's deliberations were followed by a lavish banquet. While welcoming his counterparts from the eight member countries, Sri Sripad Yasu Nayak, Minister of Culture and Tourism, Government of India, expressed his firm belief that cultural diplomacy must be accorded very high priority. The third meeting of the SARC cultural ministers, which commences tomorrow, will seek to lay down the SARC agenda for culture and adopt the Delhi Declaration, laying down a time-bound roadmap that will work substantially to revitalize the cultural institution and re-inject enthusiasm among the artists, the writers, and the scholars who work the area of the dance, literature, museum, archives, libraries, oral narratives, and modern art. Towards this end, India is willing to commit its time, manpower, and resources for strengthening the institution in the region so that we can preserve our rich cultural heritage and particularly preserve the hundreds of thousands of many narratives which are in danger of being lost forever to future generations. This was followed by a dance performance emphasizing once again the crucial role of culture in bringing diverse people closer. The Ministers of Culture from eight member nations met on 25th September to take forward the momentum generated over the past few years by the Saab Cultural Centre. Their aim was to formulate a revised agenda that would not only address cultural festivals, archives, libraries, museums and performing arts, but also break new ground and utilize new technologies to make the online presence of Saab cultures felt far and wide. One of the major proposals of this meeting is the announcement of 2016-2017 as a SARC year of the cultural heritage. This will not only bring significant focus to the implementation of the SARC agenda for culture, but will also enable effort to strengthen the cultural institution in SARC member states and give centrality to cultural diplomacy. After the address by Sri Sri Padhyaso Nayak, Minister of Culture and Tourism, Government of India. It was time for the other SARC ministers to table their views. I think in SARC, there are broadly two main challenges or two main goals should be there. One is to promoting the cultural connectivity within the region. And the second thing is how this culture is showcased to the outside world as a culture of South Asia. More than 1,200 monuments belonging to different civilizations and cultures. Uh, three Islamic civilizations and Islamic cultural civilizations. They are in very bad shape, in danger of collapse. And we really do need help uh, to present it. Nepal has officially opened the International Mountain Museum on 5 February 2004, which is located relatively near to the Himalayan range in Pokhara, and it is the biggest mountain museum in the Saar region. With an objective of maintaining systematic records of the successful 8,000 years, geographic flora and fauna, and human activity in the Himalayan range, 
the international mountain museum has been established. I would like to propose a conference between SARC finance minister and SARC cultural ministers in order to discuss issues regarding funds and other problems. I know this will not be an easy job, but I believe it will help us to channel resources into the development of culture, which is not always a priority in developing countries like us. I'd also like to propose that eminent artists and literary persons should be allowed to visit SAR countries without a visa in order to facilitate cultural exchanges between our nations. We are in the process of actually uh, making new legislations in terms of Library Act as well as the Heritage Act, which should be in force early 2015. This would, this would enable us to ensure that people look at whatever uh, heritage sites that we have we can be preserved within the constitutions of the law. Bhutan seeks to strengthen regional collaboration and cooperation in the field of culture among SAP member countries and use culture as a medium to unify, integrate and build harmony and social cohesiveness while providing society with the capability of internalizing change within traditions. After intense deliberations, the Delhi Declaration was adopted, strengthening a vibrant, culturally informed and forward-looking relationship between the eight member nations. From 26 to 28 September, Rabindra Bhavan played host to the Saab Cultural Festival of Traditional Dances of South Asia. The event was organized by Saab Cultural Centre in collaboration with Ministry of Culture, Government of India and the Sangeet Natak Academy. The evening began with a colourful procession of all the participating artists. As the dignitaries arrived, they were treated to an exhibition of the cultural activities in the region. After the customary lamp lighting, it was time for welcome speeches. I believe that you could get a very good opportunity to taste the South Asian spirit of some of the traditional art forms which are very rich, rare and distinctive in nature in the world. This will definitely help all member states to promote relations and understanding among people of South Asia to develop cultural cooperation for the benefit of the common people of the region and this will be a good opportunity for the member states for direct involvement for cultural cooperation among themselves. This dance festival, I believe, will help all member states to make a new attempt to use the crucial role of culture in bringing people of South Asia closer, to promote people of people to people contact, to benefit each other. We've concluded the third meeting of the SAC culture ministers yesterday. After a wonderfully cordial and constructive session, we were able to pass the historic Delhi resolution, which seeks to intensify cultural engagement in the SAC region manifold. Today, we have gathered here to witness very diverse dance performances. I'm sure you will greatly enjoy the performances this evening. Oh, no, 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 no. 